parents Hata kama wazazi in this parenting uh, age katika wakati huo kwa wazazi and present time na wakati huo when most of us as parents are giving up wakati wazazi wengi wanachoka in parenting katika kuwa wazazi because the children have gone a notch higher kwa sababu watoto wamepanda ngazi wamepanda ngazi kutushinda because of the technology kwa sababu ya teknolojia you can think you know unaweza dangia unajua and kumbe you don't know as a parent kumbe utajua unjui kama mzazi therefore let us ask oh, oh, the grace of god kwa hivyo tuombe neema ya Mungu to help us even to live righteously ili tuwe ili kwa sababu tuishi maisha matakatifu so that our lives may minister to them maisha yetu yaweze kuhudumia sometimes you just ask wakati mwingine unauliza tu kwa hii nyumba umeona nani kama anafanya hivyo Uvuma oh, 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 doing this in this house. When I see him. Amen. But if you are doing it, lakini kama unafanya, how will you talk to the children? Je, utaongeleshaje? Most of the time the children is hearing you lying on the phone. Oui. Wakati mwingi unasikia watu watoto wanakusikiza ukidanganya kwa simu. Now they is they tell you off. Watakwambia mimi unadanganya. Wewe ulikuwa unadanganya mimi ati nimefika nikutoa. Eh ulikuwa unadanganya dadi uko lakini hauko. Bwana sifiwe. Amen. So may the grace of God help us. Neema ya Mungu itusaidie. But the Lord is saying that it is sufficient. Lakini neema Biblia inasema kwamba inatosha. In every situation. Katika kila hali. I'm talking of the grace of God. Na ongea kuhusu neema ya Mungu. That is able to work perfectly in us in times of weaknesses. Kwamba inaweza kutenda kazi ndani yetu kwa asio wakati wa ugumu. Wakati ile umeshinda. Eh. Neema ya Bwana itosha. Amen. Bwana sifiwe sana. Amen. Waacha neema ya Bwana itosha. Amen. Wakati umeshindwa kabisa. Mm-hmm. God tells Paul that Mungu anaambia Paulo is sufficient. Amen. It gives us freedom in a tupa uhuru. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. The grace of God brings joy. Neema ya Mungu inaleta furaha. Let us see that in Isaiah. Tuone hiyo katika Isaiah 30 and verse 18. 30:18. Amen. 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 It is so great that we are saved by grace. Ni vyema sana kwamba tumeokolewa kwa neema. It is only by grace. Ni kwa neema tu. We do not deserve. Hatu hatuko tunastahili. We do not deserve at all at all. Basi hata sasa hatustahili. We were born in sin. Tulizaliwa kwa neema and saved by grace. Tumeokolewa kwa neema. Even today. Na hata leo hii. If Jesus comes. Ikiwa Yesu atakuja. Will you find any who is righteous before the Lord? Je, atapata yote aliye mtakatifu mbele zake? He is going to be sufficient for 
inaenda kukuta shaya to give you justice itakupatia haki in whatever situation it is katika hali yote ile and when justice comes kwa wakati haki ile itakuja joy comes furaha itakuja when as if amen when god gives us justice wakati mungu anatupa haki ni kwamba anatutetea he is fighting for us katika kila hali amen when as if amen there is this song that says Wakorintho wa pili kumi na tatu tisa Mana tafurai iwapo sisi tudaifu Nini mekua hodari Tena tuwaomba Hili nalo kutimilika kwenu It is the one that says The Lord God is gracious and compassionate He will not turn his face from you If you return to him Kwa mbuku mwaneema na hata toa uso wake kwenu ikiwa mtamwangalia. The Lord God is gracious and Kamba, compassionate. Kwamba Mungu ni wa neema na huruma. He will not turn his face from you. Kwamba hata ondoa uso wake kwenu ikiwa utamrudia. So we see that the grace of God is able to build us up. Let us go back to the Lord. The grace of God is able to build us up. 
hujaweza kutujenga anasema kwamba atakuwa huruma atakuwa upendo hata ugeuzi wa kutoka kwetu anataka tumrejee ni nani atosha kuturudisha kutujenga tena yeye atageuza usonge kwetu yeye atakuwa neema kwa hivyo anatufia moyo kwamba tumrudie anaenda kuwa huruma atatuweka huru kwamba tumrudie neema yake atosha wakati mwingi shetani ndiye yule anayewa washtaki upendo na tazidi kukueleza kwamba umeanguka kutoka kwa neema kwa Mwenyezi Mungu lakini Mungu anasema kwamba hatageuza kufa kwetu anataka turudie ili akatujenge katika imani kwa hivyo neema ya Mungu yaweza kutujenga Tunaweza ongea mengi kuhusu kazi ya neema. Maisha ni mwetu. Lakini kila mmoja anataka tukumbuke. Kwamba neema ya Mungu inatenda kazi sana katika udhaifu wetu. Wakati ule uko chini. Wakati ule uko dhaifu. Wakati ule umegunjwa. Neema ya Mungu itakubeba. Na kwa hakika ni kwa utukufu wake. Na anasema kwamba atakupitisha katika hali hiyo. Mungu atakupitisha katika hali hiyo. Ili neema yake. Kwa sababu neema yake inaonekana inadhirika wakati wa ajabu. Hapa ndio Mungu anapokuja. Kutuonyesha jinsi alivyo mkuu. To show how his power. Kutuonyesha jinsi nguvu zake zinazofanya kuwa zenye nguvu katika maisha ni mwetu kwa kupitia kwa neema yake lakini je Mungu ameka neema gani cha maisha yako ili mtumikie amen kwamba neema ya Mungu itatubeba katika hali ngumu Kumbuka kwamba neema ile ya kutosha to serve God. Ili ukamtumikie. Katika hali yote ile uliyoko. Anasema kwamba ikiwa tutamtumikia, atainua hata mawe to serve him. Wako mtumikie. So identify the grace of God. Tambua neema yako. It is operating in your life. Neema Mungu inayotenda kazi so maisha yako. Ili uweze kumtumikia Mungu. Hizo ndizo nguvu zilizomfufua toka kifo 
for you. When I see you. Amen. So let us, uh, this grace is able to work miracles in our lives. The grace is able to sustain us through the deserts. Amen. Amen. The grace is able to sustain us through the deserts. Amen. 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 I pray that each and every one of us shall know that in times when we are weak, please don't work by your own strength. Amen. Amen. Ask of the grace of God. Tell God that as you told Paul, His grace will be sufficient. Father, let your will be done. In the times He has allowed whatever situation you are going through, to be in your life forever. So it is only the grace. And many will wonder. And many will wonder. The grace of God that is accelerating you. Not your power. Not your strength. Not your knowledge. Not your wisdom. Not your simple grace of God. That he told Paul that would be sufficient.
Neema ya Mungu ambayo inatendeka kwa mchango. Naomba Mungu akupe neema. Ili kuendelea. Usio usichoke. Usichoke. Usikate tamaa usio wazi. Neema ya Mungu inatosha.